Do you know what time it is? It's time for another Magic Mail Monday! Oh no! There goes everything! Oh shoot! Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to day three of Vlogmas. And it is Monday, which means it is Magic Mail Monday. Now, officially, this is supposed to be kind of a pin mail focused day. And I do have a stack of pin mail to share with you. But I'm also going to squeeze some P.O. Box mail from you guys into the end of this video because I'm so behind on Magic Mail from you all that if I don't squeeze it in, I will probably never get through it. So I've got four maybe five pin mail packages and then I did grab a couple of packages from my stack of P.O. Box mail from you all as well so that's coming up also if you are here for vlogmas my advent calendar openings for day three will be at the very end of this video so make sure you watch all the way to the very end let's get started with some pin mail shall we this first mailer is actually a trade that I did months ago and I was procrastinating on opening it because the pin in here is actually a holiday themed pin and I wanted to wait until it was December and vlogmas to open it. Uh, this is quite a lovely pin, something I had my eye on for a while and I think I found the person um, on Instagram that I traded with so it's not someone from my, my Facebook group or anything like that. But this is a WDI pin, it's a Christmas themed pin and um, it's kind of for one of my newer side collections. I've been collecting a little bit of Lady from Lady in the Tramp because she reminds me so much of my own dog Molly and this is a WDI Christmassy holiday -y lady pin and it's so pretty oh my gosh this is my first time actually like taking it out and looking at it but let me take it out of the plastic for you you're gonna flip when you see this it's beautiful and she looks so cute and here she is. It is Lady tucked inside of a gift box. This is how we, I believe, first see her in the movie. She looks so beautiful. So we've got the cute uh, pink box with the glittery red ribbon on the top, and she is also wearing a red glittery bow. This is perfect for the holidays. This is definitely going on my December Christmas pin board. Absolutely love it. Let me pull this off the card and give you a quick peek at the back. I like to sometimes show the backs of WDIs because people sometimes ask me about them but WDI means Walt Disney Imagineering that means they are exclusive to the Mickey's of Glendale shop out in Glendale California they are usually low limited edition so this one is limited edition of 250 and then on the back you can also see that there is this sorcerer Mickey stamp pattern on the back um, and all of the WDI pins have this this one actually has two um, pin posts really gorgeous pin um, I honestly cannot wait to put this on my monthly pin board I'm pretty sure this next pin is also WDI and also holiday themed. This one I actually purchased on eBay. I found it for what I felt was a pretty decent price. And uh, I've been hanging on to this one uh, till the month of December as well because, you know, I want to put my holiday things in, in Vlogmas whenever possible. But this one I had my eye on for a while and I was kind of stalking and kind of watching different eBay listings. And it's never like terribly expensive on eBay, but I wanted to find one at the lowest price that I could. I can't remember what I got this one for, but when I saw it, I pulled the trigger because it was, it was pretty decent. But let me get her out here. Oh my goodness, I just love this one. So we have Snow White and her prince cuddled in a Christmas sleigh. Uh, there was a whole series of these uh, maybe a couple years ago. I know there's a Belle and Beast one that I also really want, um, but they're basically in this beautiful sleigh. It's kind of got the little sculpted, um, I don't know what do you call these, like runners. I don't know, maybe it's the sleigh part of the sleigh. I don't know. At the bottom and there's some beautiful textured um, kind of Christmassy snowflake patterns in gold on the side. You've got a pin on pin wreath in the front. Really pretty pin. Obviously very Christmassy, very holiday-ish. And um, I'm looking at the backer card and I was mistaken. This is not a WDI. This is actually a Disney uh, Studio Store Hollywood pin. So another California exclusive. So I'll show you the back of this one as well. It also has two pin posts. It's got this um, kind of film reel backer card that's how I know it's from the studio store in Hollywood. And on the backs of these, you will find the ice cream cone stamped pattern. And this one is limited edition of 400. 
such a pretty pin. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna make this like one of the focal points of my board this year and I'm really excited to add this to my Snow White collection, which is kind of my main uh, princess collection. Next up I have this pretty silver mailer and I know that there are some beautiful fantasy pins inside this mailer. The owner of the shop Most Magical Supply Co, which is a fantasy pin shop, reached out to me and asked if she could send me some pins to share with you guys on my channel and um, I picked out one that I really wanted and then I just told her to surprise me and I know there's a couple of really cute pins in here so um, let me just kind of dig into the envelope here. I'm seeing a note. The note has um, a cute Mickey Mouse on it. And she says, I hope you love your new pins. Stitch and Pascal glow in the dark. I got glow in the dark pins, y'all. Um, they just need a little charge by being held up to the light. Hope you have a wonderful holiday from Lauren. So hi Lauren from Magical Supply Co. Thank you for sending me some goodies. I will link to your shop and your Instagram down below. I'm so excited to see these in person because I was snooping on your, uh, on your social media and I was admiring your pins. So here we go. I am seeing, oh my gosh, I'm seeing one, two, three, four fantasy pins. They're all beautifully and carefully packaged. They all have, um, some kind of unique backer cards and two pin posts on the back. I'm gonna start with the pin that I requested specifically because uh, I wanna put it on my holiday pin board and then I'll show you the others that she tucked in. So here is this first pin. I was so excited to get this. It is obviously a holiday themed Disney animal pin. And we have three of my favorite Disney animals featured on this, including Lady from Lady and the Tramp. And I just spoke a few minutes ago about how much I am loving Lady these days. And then we also have the Disney kitty herself, Marie from the Aristocats. And then kind of peeking out at the very top from one of the boxes, we have little Pascal from Tang and Tangled is one of my favorite of the newer uh, Disney animated films. So I absolutely love this pin. This one is a keeper for me. It's gonna go on my Christmas pin board. It's got two pin posts on the back. And I believe these are still available on her website at the time that I am posting this video. The next pin that she sent me also features Pascal. This is a nice size pin. Um, Pascal from Tangled. And this is apparently one of the glow in the dark ones. So I believe if you hold the moon up to some light and get it a charge, it can kind of glow in the dark. I'm not gonna attempt to do that because it's light outside right now and I think it might take me some time to actually make that happen. But what a beautiful pin. I love that he's curled up and sleeping on the moon. This would have been great for my November pin board where I had, where I had all my uh, sleeping animals, but oh well, too, too late for that. But I, I do love him, super cute pin. And I didn't think it was possible to get much cuter than that Pascal pin, but check this out. This tops it, I think. This is a sleeping stitch on a moon pin. I'm not a stitch collector at all, but I'm obsessed with this. What a cutie. I love that he's wearing little PJs, and this is also a glow in the dark pin. Also two pin posts because um, it's a very nice size. And the final pin that she sent me is this lollipop pin. It's a Mickey-shaped lollipop, and it's very clever says sucker for Disney across the front. Uh, truer words were never spoke. I am definitely a sucker for Disney. I will wear this as a badge of honor. The ultimate sucker for Disney probably uh, is me on this channel, but um, I do love this pin. It would go really cute with like a summery pin board or like a little Disney treat collection. I do have some cute Disney treats uh, fantasy pins that I could group this with, but very, very adorable pin. I loved all four of those pins so much and I cannot wait to put this Christmassy one on my December pin board, which is coming soonish. It'll come during Vlogmas to you guys. So thank you again, Lauren, for sending me those four pins and for reaching out. I will leave a link to Most Magical Supply Co. website and Instagram down below. A lot of times if you follow these shops on Instagram, it's kind of the best way to figure out what they're up to rather than trying to keep an eye on their website because it just pops up in your feed like a little reminder to go by fantasy pins because who doesn't need a reminder to go buy fantasy pins anyway totally love them and thank you again I have one more mailer of pins here that actually arrived in my PO box as surprise uh, magic mail from you but I did take a peek inside and there are some fantasy pins in here and they are actually Harry Potter themed if you've been following my channel I've definitely been on a bit of a Harry Potter kick lately because I recently was able to visit the wizarding world of Harry Potter and I'm just super into it right now um, so Kelsey from 
Philly sent this to me. Hi, Kelsey from Pennsylvania. And uh, I just wanna show you what she sent. She made these, she designed these, which is incredible. So first of all, I want to show you her really cute uh, card that she snuck in. So here is the card. It's a little mistletoe and it says, probably full of nargles. And that's a Harry Potter uh, reference and quote for sure. I love it. I think I'm gonna tack this to my Christmas pin board for sure. Such a cute design. And from the back of the card, it looks like this may be her own design as well, which I love. And she says, Becca, I'm a fan of your pin videos. I love watching you collect and living vicariously through your pin mail. I don't design fantasy Disney pins, but I thought you might like these magical pins, especially because you are Ravenclaw from Kelsey. And Kelsey's shop is called Twee Stitch. Twee Stitch, and I'll leave a link to her Etsy and her Instagram down below. And I'm so excited to take a closer look at the pins. I, I did kind of peek through, but um, I didn't get a very close look, so I'm excited. So first up, we have this blue sweater pin with an H in the middle of it, H presumably for Harry. But this is actually a blue sweater, and blue is the color of Ravenclaw, which is perfect for me. So I'm excited to add this to my Harry Potter pin collection. Next up, we have this Goblet of Fire pin that's got some cool glitter embellishment on it and a quote. It says, Harry, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? He asked calmly. So direct book quote here. This one's got two pin posts on the back, which I love. Love the colors of this, so it'll go very nice with my, my Ravenclaw collection as well. Next up, we have this small glitter embellished pin that says, books and cleverness. Two of my very favorite things and definitely very Ravenclaw. Books and cleverness, love this one. And then finally, she sent me this spew pin and the spew stands for Society for the Promotion of Elfish Welfare, which is uh, her Hermione's organization that she starts on behalf of the house elves. And I love that it's blue and it's very Ravenclaw colored and I'm excited to have this as well. And look, she also sent me two stickers of two of the pins. So it's a sticker version of the Goblet of Fire pin and a sticker version of the Books and Cleverness pin. I love stickers, so thank you so much. Kelsey, I love them all. Thank you so much. I will link to your shops down below and I will proudly put these with my small Harry Potter collection on my, on my pin board. So thanks girl, appreciate it. I think that is the end of designated pin mail and I'm gonna move on to a couple magic mail PO box uh, packages that I got from you guys. But before I do that, I do want to shout out the shirt that I'm wearing today. I'm repping Disney Pins Blog today. Disney Pins Blog is owned by a good friend of mine, Ryan. I've talked about him a few times on this channel. We've done some video collabs together. I'm, I'm part of the Disney Pins Blog team from time to time. And uh, when I was down in Florida, he gave me a Disney Pins Blog t-shirt featuring his new logo and he also gave me one of the brand new Disney pins blog logo pins complete with gold backing and glitter embellishments that's very DPB and uh, very Ryan really beautiful pin you can buy these over on um, his uh, his website I wanted to share this and give DPB some love today because Ryan's YouTube channel which is this Disney pins blog on YouTube is like this close to hitting 10,000 subscribers in fact by the time I upload this, I bet he will have already hit 10,000 subscribers, which is um, a huge milestone. So congratulations, Ryan, if you see this. And if you like pins and you haven't checked out Disney Pins Blog yet, go over there and subscribe to his YouTube and subscribe to all of his social channels. It's like the best resource for pin news and pin information out there. I'm serious. So go check out DPB and thanks, Ryan, for, uh, for the swag and hopefully I'll see you very soon. All right, let's move on to a little more magic mail, shall we? I've got three packages that I pulled off of my, my pile, my stack of uh, P.O. Box mail to share with you today. And this first one is coming from Julie. And Julie, I think, is sending this from Germany. I'm pretty sure she's from Germany. Yes, it says Deutsche Post. So Germany, I think. Um, and Julie has sent me mail before. And uh, I'm excited to see what's in here because last time she sent me mail, she sent me a bunch of kind of my favorite treats ever. And I'm kind of feeling this package. And I think there might be more treats in this. So let me open this up. And hi, Julie. And sorry it took me a few weeks to get to your package. I got this uh, shortly before my birthday birthday back in October. Oh my gosh, I'm totally seeing treats, but let me look for the note first. Okay, here is, yes, here's a note. Oh, it's on a cute um, tangled postcard, and the postcard is, uh, it's in German, so that's fun. It says, Becca, I really hope you're doing well. 
I was recently on a last minute trip to Disneyland Paris and saw a pin or two for you. Oh, there's pins in here. It is a pin mail day. I also think you might be in need of some more hippos, so here you go. Oh my gosh, I love these treats. Oh my gosh, everybody. These are some of my favorite snacks ever. These are the Kinder Happy Hippo treats. They're like little wafery hippo, like hippopotamus shaped cookies. And then inside there's like this, like kind of hazelnut filling. So it's like chocolate hazelnut wafer cookies and they're gooey on the inside. Like they're so amazing. And uh, people send me these from time to time because I, I talk about them from time to time and they do not last long. Like I'm probably gonna eat these in the next couple of days with a bit of help from my husband. So thank you, Julie, I love these hippos. And then I'm seeing a couple of pins wrapped up but I'm also seeing some stickers. So, ooh, now look at these. We have some stickers from like old school Disney cartoons. I've never seen these before. I'm gonna add these to my ever-growing sticker collection. It lives in, in that top filing cabinet drawer, which is almost full, completely of stickers, not kidding. And finally, here are the pins, which is so nice. Let's take a look at what we have here. Ooh, I think I am seeing the white rabbits. All the way from the Disneyland Paris parks, there he is. So he's got his little trumpet and he's got his little outfit and then there's a big, pocket watch behind him because he is always late. He is very time conscious. And then there is another pin. This looks like it's a Tower of Terror pin. There is a Tower of Terror pin in Disneyland Paris. It's actually in the Studios Park, which is the park that's adjacent to the actual castle, like Disneyland Park. And um, it's very similar to the version of Tower of Terror that used to be at Disneyland in California. So um, if you know the difference between the Florida one and the California one, it's a lot like the California one. Talk and talk and talk and Tower of Terror is one of my favorite attractions of all time. I could talk about it for forever. Um, but here it is. This is the Paris Tower of Terror. And I do have a small, small uh, Tower of Terror collection because I just love it so much that um, I don't really go out of my way to collect Tower of Terror. But when I come across those pins, I just keep them because I love it so much. And here it is, a Tower of Terror pin from Disneyland Paris and it says attractions collection on it. I did not see this when I was there a couple years ago, so I don't know if it's newer or if I just missed it, but very excited to have this. Thank you so much, Julie, for the most thoughtful care package, stickers and pins and chocolate wafer crunchy hippos. Like that's the best mail day ever. And I hope all is well with you. I gotta try to connect with you on Facebook. I'm sure we have some things that we can discuss, um, but thank you in the meantime for the magic mail and uh, happy holidays to you and yours. Okay, I am excited about this next box because this is the size and shape of a box that usually contains ears. I don't know if there are ears. Oh, yep, I'm looking at the customs form. There are ears in this box, y'all, so I'm excited about more ears. And this is coming from Megan, and Megan is sending this from Canada, from Ontario. So hi, Megan, in Ontario. Thank you for sending me some mail to my P.O. box. Let's open this up. I'm seeing a little card. It says Disney Kitty. Oh, it's a Disney birthday card. So it's got all these glittery Mickey heads, and it says happy birthday to you. So um, like I said, I'm a bit behind my magic mail my birthday was at the very end of October so I'm a few few weeks behind so thank you for your patience oh and it says happy birthday Becca I hope you had a magical day I really did I spent it with my family which is the most magical thing that you can do and she says she loves yoga and she loves Disney girl like we're the same she says you inspired me to start my own YouTube channel but I'm still working on getting a better camera first no listen to me you do not need a better camera use your phone like flip it around do it the you know the long way but don't worry about the quality of your camera just start uploading videos and then when you get comfortable then it's worth investing in a camera that's my unsolicited advice but just start just start just start and then let me know when you do and then she says i hope you like the ears these are handmade by my mom oh hi mom and uh, she has an etsy shop called ear gear ear gear store i will link to ear gear store down below and then there's also an instagram ear gear i'll, I'll put the links down below so thank you so much megan 
from Canada and it says there are some coffee crisps. Oh my gosh, I'm getting food today. I love treats. Okay, so exciting, so exciting. These are Nestle coffee crisps. I do love coffee and I do love chocolate and I love the combination of the two. She sent me two of these. Never tried this. I wonder if this is like a Canada only thing. Maybe my Canadian friends can tell me, but um, I'm excited to try these. I love crispy wafer coffee chocolate things. It's like my lucky day. Every day is, is like my lucky day on this channel. Um, I gotta calm down. I, I haven't even like caffeinated in a while and I'm like flying off the handle over here. Thank you for the coffee crisps, Megan. Let's check out these ears. Oh my goodness, these are beautiful. These are mermaid ears. I actually don't have any mermaid ears. I did buy a pair of mermaid ears a couple years ago to give to my sister because Ariel is her favorite and we were going to Disney together, but I don't have a pair of my own and here they are. These are gorgeous. So you've got kind of teal mermaid scales. Here's a more close up look. And then there are pearls around the edges, which is perfect. And then look in the center you have an actual real starfish. Like that's a real starfish, folks. These are gorgeous. I gotta put these on right now. Oh yeah, these are so pretty. Thank you so much, Megan. I don't have any like little mermaid under the sea type of ears yet. So um, so big thank you to you and your mom. And I love that starfish uh, embellishment in the center. That's really unique. Um, and I am seeing something else in here. I think there's some little, uh, ooh, it's like Tsum Tsums. Holiday Tsum Tsums, oh my. Oh my gosh, okay, so. I think this might be from a Tsum Tsum advent calendar, but we have Tigger as a reindeer, Tsum Tsum, and a festive white rabbit, Tsum Tsum. He's got a little bow on him. And then we also have a Tsum Tsum sleigh, so you can like put the sleigh harness on Tigger, and then white rabbit can kind of sit behind him. I don't, that doesn't look quite right. <laughs> it looks kind of, that looks kind of naughty, but you get the point. Look how cute Tigger is with his sleigh. And then we'll just say white rabbit is separate. I love these. Thank you. Two of my favorite characters. Oh my gosh. I almost put my foot in my mouth there with those, uh, with those Tsum Tsums. But, um, but thank you so much, Megan. I love the magic mail. Love the ears. Cannot wait to try the coffee crisps. And, um, like I said, I'll link to your mom's shop down below and happy holidays to you. Okay, we have made it to the final package of this video, and this is from Dylan in New Mexico. Now, Dylan has sent me mail before. Dylan, I chat with you on Instagram, and you have been sending me all the packages. I think I've got one more from you in my stack, but um, I'm pretty sure you messaged me and said there was something like New Yorky or Oliver and Company-ish or both inside this box, and I'm a huge New York City nut, and I'm a big fan of Oliver and Company. I recently rewatched it. It's an interesting film. It's very dated, but the songs are great and the animals are awesome. The movie overall feels very dated because um, I, I just rewatched it uh, over Thanksgiving weekend. Anyway, thank you, Dylan, for sending me more magic mail. Let's open this up and see what's inside. We've got some packing tissue from Sharp Disney. So far, I'm not seeing a note, so I'm just going to see what we have here. I'm seeing a, um, a little box. I wonder if this is a Shop Disney box. It kind of looks like it. So we open this up. Oh my gosh, is this an ornament? <gasps> yes, it is. Oh, I was looking at this when I was at Disney World a couple weeks ago and I didn't buy it, but I almost did. Like I almost bought this and I'm glad I didn't because you sent it to me. This is an Oliver and Company Christmas tree ornament. And this is from um, the scene in the beginning when Oliver and Dodger are stealing the hot dogs from the guy and, and Dodger is singing, you know, why should I worry? Okay, so here they are, these cuties. So you've got Dodger with his little scarf and then you've got the, all the, the sausage links in his mouth and then Oliver, the cutest kitty ever, is riding on his back. Loving this ornament. As soon as I finish filming, I'm gonna go put this on my Christmas tree right away. That was so awesome, thank you. And there's a whole bunch of other things in here. I'm seeing, I think, is this stickers or postcards? Oh, this is the note. It looks like it's a sticker sheet, but it's actually an, an envelope with a bunch of stickers on it. Okay, I found your note, Dylan. Here we go. Here's the card. It's a New York City greeting card. If you are wondering what my obsession with New York City is, I, uh, I lived there for a while. I actually went to college there. I went to NYU and 
Um, it's been a big part of my life and I miss it all the time. So this just is delightful. And Dylan also sent some awesome stickers and they're kind of like 3D-ish stickers. And inside of the box, I'm seeing this kind of stiff cardboard mailer. Let's see what is in here. <gasps> Two gorgeous New York City art prints. These are awesome too. So we have New York City at night with a taxi, the city that never sleeps. Oh my gosh, I miss it so much. The other best time in New York City, New York in autumn, you see the changing leaves, and this is at Washington Square Park, which is where I used to live, by the way. And then we've got a girl with brown hair walking some dogs. Like this could definitely be me. I'm obsessed with these. Oh my goodness. I'm like the luckiest girl possible right now. And then finally in Dylan's package, we have three CDs. Um, and I'm looking through these CDs and I am cracking up. I'm like, I'm kind of dying over these. Dylan, that was kind of epic. And like, I see you, like we get each other's sense of humor and like weird inside joke complexities. That's super awesome. So thank you. Thank you for, for the package and I know I have another package over my guest room from you so hopefully I can get to that next week. I've got a lot of mail to get through so I'm plugging through it, I'm I'm pushing through it and I'm, I'm so grateful and, and honored as always. And oh my gosh, that reminds me, there is one more person that I need to say hello to and say thank you to before I end this video. I wanna say hi to my friend Beth who owns the YouTube channel, The Collectioneers Club, newer YouTube channel. Um, I wasn't able to meet Beth on my last trip down to Walt Disney World, but my friend Ryan of, of DPB, who I mentioned, um, had lunch with her and she actually sent a goodie bag to me, like through Ryan, which was so nice and thoughtful and, and unexpected. And she sent a little note that says she likes making little goodie bags. And so she sent me the contents of this and then she also sent me um, a delicious Disney Rice Krispie treat, which I'm not gonna show you because it's in my tummy. Well, it's been, it's made its way through, okay? Like I ate it a while ago, that's what I'm trying to say. But um, she also sent me this little goodie bag, like a little Christmas uh, pouch, which is so sweet. And there are three cute, like really personal little items in here and I'm, I was so touched to get this, so. First we have this trading card of Belle in her blue dress, which is my favorite way to see Belle. It's got her signature. And this is apparently a Walt Disney World trading card. I've never seen this before. It says Walt Disney World Signature Series and you've got Belle. I guess this is a thing, but I, I don't know why. I've never seen these trading cards before. So I wonder where she got this, but really awesome. Belle's my favorite princess besides Snow White. They both are. Then she included this little Judy Hopps button. You know, not a pin, but a button. Um, and that's gonna go great with my Zootopia collection. I'm the biggest Judy Hopps fan, like ever. So I'm super excited to have this. And finally, she gave me this magnet of my favorite kind of classic old school Disney attraction, which is Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. And I'm not sure where she got this magnet. I've never seen this before, but I've got a lot of my Disney magnets on my filing cabinet back behind me and I'm gonna stick this on there as soon as I hang up the video. So that was just so thoughtful and personal. I know I already sent you a little note, Beth, but thank you again so much for your thoughtfulness and your kindness. And that just really touched me when Ryan handed me that. I was not expecting that. And um, I will leave a link to your YouTube channel, The Collectioneers Club, down below. And hopefully next time we're both down in Florida, we can hang out a little bit. Oh boy, that was another pretty epic Magic Mail Monday. Thank you so, so much to everyone who has sent me something. I say this every video, but it honestly means the world. I have never expected any of this ever in my life, so the fact that people are sending me goodies and gifts and stuff, it's like, it's just, it, it's draw-joppingly special to me, so. Big, big gratitude and thank you. And if you did send me something that I haven't opened yet, stick with me. There will be another Magic Mail Monday next Monday because it's Magic Mail Monday every Monday on this channel. We are currently in Vlogmas, which means I will be uploading another video tomorrow for you. So stay tuned for that. And if you are here for today's Disney Advent Calendar pin openings, those are coming up right now. It's time to open my Disney pin advent calendars for day three of Vlogmas. So I'm gonna start with my Disneyland Paris advent calendar. And I'm looking around on here and I'm having a tricky time finding day three. Oh, here it is, kind of next to the castle and on the Christmas tree here. Let me punch this little door open and see who is inside. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to turn this sideways every time I do it. It is Chip and Dale, super cute, let me just pull them out. 
Here is a closer look at this adorable pin. I love Chip and Dale for the holidays because I love that uh, Pluto's Christmas tree cartoon where Pluto's trying to decorate the tree with Mickey and then Chip and Dale are just taunting Pluto relentlessly. That's one of my favorite holiday cartoons for sure. And now moving on to my mystery pin advent calendar for day number three. Let's open up drawer number three. Feeling this one, I have no idea what it is. There's lots of different pin sets in that calendar, so everything's a total surprise to me. And this is, oh, this is one of the Chinese New Year mystery pins. I've actually never opened one of these before. And I think this one is, um, the mom of Lambert, the sheepish lion from the old cartoon. I might be getting that wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's who this is. So there she is. Is that Lambert's mom? Is that a different character that I'm not sure about? Anyway, it's the year of the, the year of the lamb or the sheep, I guess. These are really pretty pins. I'd love to collect the whole set, and I'm just noticing that they actually have two pin posts, which is rare for a mystery pin set. So that's awesome. That's it for today's advent calendars. I'll be back tomorrow with more Vlogmas for you. Until then, have a magical day, and I'll see you real soon. Bye, guys.